Just a brief disclaimer. What I will be discussing in tonight's video contains subject matter that is sick, disgusting, and heavily not safe for work. I am not condoning the actions made in this video. It is merely made for journalistic and documentary purposes only. If you have a problem with topics including child abuse, mentions of it, and the people who distribute it, please turn away now. This video is meant to shine light on a completely depraved piece of lost media in hopes of possibly finding the person or persons who made it. If you have any information on the people behind this piece, of media, please contact me or the FBI cybercrime tip line in the description below. Viewer discretion is advised. Not all art is meant to be entertaining or marketable. Some people aim to provoke certain emotions or thoughts within the viewer or listener. But what if there potentially exists a piece of media that only elicits feelings of disgust and anger from the concept of it alone? What if there exists an album made from the most vile, evil, and downright sadistic samples of all time? I do not condone what I am about to discuss in this video. This is merely for journalistic purposes only. If you cannot handle what the topics I am going to be talking about in this, then please turn away. I will have more videos in the future soon. Join me tonight as we discuss the horrific anomaly that is Pseudoscorpion by Zenjin. He asked if I wanted to stop by a mutual friend of ours' house because he wanted to pick up some cocaine. And he said sure. He asked me if I wanted to go up. He knew it had been a long time since I'd seen Peter. parked the car and we went up there and he had six of his friends waiting for me. I remember them like having sex with me. I don't remember them hurting me, like physically beating me or anything like that. I guess after like the third or fourth one I passed out. When I came to Pseudo Scorpion by Zenjin is a mysterious album said to have been made out of sound bites of child abuse and child pornography. The earliest mention I could find about the album was in a 4chan X archive in 2018. However, I did also manage to find a 4chan screenshot from a Reddit post published in 2017 possibly referencing the album, though it could also be referring to another similar album which we will get into later. The 2018 X archive contains discussion regarding the concept of the album briefly. The poster states that you could at one point also find downloads for it on sites like Mega.NZ and Soulseek. However, other researchers claim that it isn't on either anymore for obvious reasons. It is also said to be somewhere in the Moo archives if you look hard enough. X posters also claim that the album itself doesn't even contain bits of music at all, but rather just sound bites and samples themselves ripped from various supposedly popular and underground videos of child porn. The alleged album cover reflects this, a rather simplistic design with the confused face of a young girl with sources claiming that it is an alleged screenshot from an actual child abuse video. There is hardly any info on this album outside of these discussions for obvious reasons. It's not every day an album like this is brought up in music discussion. Many don't know if it actually exists or not. People claim to have listened to the album and reasonably found it absolutely disgusting. Despite the speculation of if it exists or not, there had been a listing for it on Last FM, but it has been since taken down. A supposed Twitter post of some sort had also been connected to the album, but it is not known what it contained and the Wayback Machine had no previous archive of it. Various videos have been uploaded to YouTube claiming to be songs from the album or the full album itself. One notable being titled Lolita Girl, which had been speculated to be a song from the album, but this was later debunked. Forums take this very seriously. In the thread on the POW forums regarding Pseudo Scorpion, many Forum users claim that posting download links of the album leads to banning by the mods and for good reason. Mentionings of this album can lead to threads going into a frenzy discussing the legitimacy and the legality of possessing this album and the possible repercussions that could come with the ownership of this album. However, what I want to know is, who is Zenjin? Are they a real producer, an alias, or an empty name with a long gone person behind it? 
Quite honestly, it is rather hard to find anything about this album, as no known info exists on the creator at all. There are other artists who bear the Zenjin name, but it's obvious they have nothing to do with this album. Translating the name Zenjin from Japanese, it can mean all people, so maybe it isn't one person, but a collaboration of people who worked on this album. It could make sense considering if this was made for truly malicious intent, it could have been made by a group of people who are into that kind of stuff, possibly using it to seek others who share similar interests. But that is just personal speculation. It would also make sense why no one has come forward considering the source material used to make this album, which would lead to various legal repercussions if the creator did have those videos in their possession. However, this technically isn't the first album to have this concept. There is another album called Buyer's Market, created by ex-White House member Peter Sotos and produced by Big Black frontman Steve Albini. The album is a sound collage collection of accounts of sex crimes from law enforcement, parents, and even the victims themselves. Many speculate that Pseudoscorpion is some sort of homage or tribute to Buyer's Market, albeit to a more extreme extent. There happens to be a video on YouTube that claims to be the original album in full. The video in question was uploaded by YouTube user Corey on October 14, 2020, and contains a total of 7 tracks clocking in at 29 minutes in total. While hesitant at first, I decided to take a listen to the album itself and see just what it contained. Well, apparently it's just someone's mixtape. I don't know if the person who created this knows that they share a name and album title with alleged child abuse, or it could be used to drum up controversy. There is no way we can look forward into this video considering the comments have been turned off at the time of writing. I'm sure many of you might be wondering if something this horrible and vile can exist. Well, possibly. Besides many claims of people listening to it, in a reddit post regarding the search for the album, user slash here is an album posted a media fire link in the thread supposedly containing the real album, but it has since been taken down. There's a lot of lost media out there, both normal and not so normal. However, some lost media deserves to stay lost. Normally these videos are made with the intent to help spark some sort of treasure hunt to uncover pieces of media almost destroyed by time. However, I don't think this album should should ever be found. In fact, it should be wiped from the internet altogether. This is disgusting, putrid, and horrifying. The person or persons who made this, even more so. I think instead of searching for this album, we should search for the person or group responsible for it. If this is as real as everyone says it is, then there could be a very dangerous and unhinged person lurking in the depths of the music community. It would be much more effective to find the horrible person who made such trash, such filth, and confronted them about it rather than praise and bring to light what they have made. But here I am just doing that. It's insane to think that there possibly exists something done in such poor taste. As an artist and musician myself, it disappoints and saddens me that someone would use their creativity and time to produce something so evil in the worst possible way. If you find a link to this album anywhere, do not interact. The repercussions for you possessing this album could be damaging emotionally and life ruining. If you see links to the album, report it. Don't let them spread this filth for the sake of being edgy or for much more sinister means. With that being said, go support your favorite artist or your friend's art. They deserve it a lot more than this does. This has been Yoshimi, and I hope you all have a good night.